Welcome to InventorCam Professor in an interactive training course for iMachining. In exercise number one, you will be guided through the CAMPART definition process, which is necessary in InventorCam and iMachining. If you haven't already done so, perform step one by loading the Autodesk Inventor model used in this exercise. Simply click on the file name exercise1.ipt. If Autodesk Inventor is not already opened, it will launch automatically as well as load the model. In step two of the CAMPART definition process, you should review the CAM settings and ensure they are prepared for the exercises in this training book after Inventor Cam is started. Go to the Inventor ribbon at the top of the screen. Click the Inventor Cam 2014 tab and choose the CAM settings command. Inventor Cam is started and the Inventor Cam settings dialog box is displayed. First, go to Default CNC Controller in the list. Under Milling CNC Controller, choose the G-Milling Post for a 3-axis Haas SS, since the machining throughout this course will be performed on a 3-axis CNC machine. By default, this will be the CNC Machine Controller selection when the Milling Part Data dialog box is displayed. Next, go to Automatic Cam Part Definition in the list. Note there are four important sections. Definition of CNC controller, definition of coordsis, definition of stock, and definition of target. When these settings are enabled, InventorCam automates the CAM part definition process. For the purpose of this exercise, ensure that the automatic CAM part definition settings are disabled. Click OK to accept the InventorCam settings and close the dialog box. The following actions now have to be implemented to create the CAM part definition. Once again, go to the Inventor Cam tab on the Autodesk Inventor ribbon. Choose Milling from the New command. The new Milling Part dialog box is displayed. The first field displays the directory location where the CAM part will be saved. By default, it will be saved in the model file directory. The second field displays the name of the CAM part. InventorCam uses the Autodesk Inventor model name, exercise underscore one, by default. And the third field is just showing exactly what Autodesk Inventor model is being used for the CAM project and its directory location. Finally, you will notice that the units are set to metric. Click OK to confirm the CAM part creation and close the new milling part dialog box. At this point, Step 2 of the CAM part definition process is complete. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to start InventorCam and create the CAM part.